and we're joined by uh, Shirley Sitburn. And we're looking at breast cancer today, the most common cancer among women, about one third of those diagnosed. Today is the International Day of Breast Cancer. And within the month of October, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So all of those initiatives are marked to remind women that early detection is key to fighting this disease. Now, Shirley, uh, early detection does allow more than 90% of diagnosed patients to survive from the beginning, I gather. Exactly. Uh, that's why it's so important and why uh, people have all these initiatives. The October month of awareness of this specific day is just to remind people that, and to remind women specifically, that that early detection changes everything. Uh, can't, breast cancer, as you said, is the most common cancer for women here in France, but across the world as well. As you said, one out of every three newly diagnosed cancers are bre is breast cancer. Uh, and uh, by early detection, everything drops, as you said, more than 90 percent, some say 99 percent uh, less chances of, uh, chances of surviving this. Now, why are there so many people who, uh, who care about this? Well, because it's uh, a huge uh, uh, disease. We have every woman has, every woman has uh, uh, one risk out of eight of having a breast cancer at one point or another of uh, her life. So that's why so many researchers work on this and we keep learning more things. But there's some areas in the world where there's not enough, not enough secure health services and the tests are not carried out. Uh, cancer is detected too late and that's why the death rate is more important. Areas uh, like in Africa, for example, uh, there are many deaths from uh, breast cancer uh, tens of thousands every year, and worldwide, it's uh, hundreds of thousands every year. You say that, but scientists are continuing to discover more about breast cancer, and they try to understand why the disease is more common in some regions of the world and less so in others. And one of the explanations, it appears, might be how women live, their habits, uh, their, their physical surroundings. Exactly. Some of these things we know very well. Uh, for example, the fact that we shouldn't drink, uh, we shouldn't uh, ha alcohol, of course, uh, shouldn't smoke. Uh, those are uh, risk factors. But also having children late, for example, or uh, or not breastfeeding. Uh, those are also risk factors. We learn about this uh, every day. So one may ask uh, himself or herself, why is, for example, being too much, being in a state of obesity or not doing enough sport, why does it matter? Why does it bring cancer and breast cancer? Well, uh, a scientist who just won an award a few days ago, her name is Mathilde Hiss, and uh, she, she found out about this link between what we eat in our state of health and cancer, and she explains this to us. I have worked specifically on the issue of obesity and those who are overweight. Obesity changes a woman's metabolism, it changes their hormone balance, it affects the way their body functions on several levels, and these changes tend to push for the formation of tumours. We have already scientifically confirmed some of these reactions, including the ones involving hormones like estrogen or insulin. This is one of the reasons obesity brings women's bodies to a situation where tumours can develop. So obviously living a healthy lifestyle lowers the risk of getting breast cancer, but there are many other factors involved. Exactly. Like, for example, uh, if we had some relatives, parents, grandparents, gr grandmothers and mothers who, who had uh, breast cancer, well, that means we have an extra uh, risk factor. And also, it's in our genes. We uh, scientists discover every day how our genes affect the risks and the probability we have of getting this uh, cancer. Uh, and it also depends on where we live, because in some areas, well, some people have been getting more breast cancer, more people have been getting it. Well, what I've learned from the scientists that uh, I, we just heard earlier, and which I will explain to you now, I'll try to explain to you now, is that, well, there are different types of cancers across the world. It's a heterogeneous disease. And uh, for example, we've had so many studies and so much research on breast cancer in Europe that we've been able to tackle it. But in other areas, we haven't had that many uh, studies. Like, for example, 
example, in Africa. So that's why, uh, for example, there's a center in Ghana, which has been collecting information from women, women across Africa, and also women who, who came from, uh, whose families came from Africa uh, centuries ago, African-American women or black women elsewhere in the world. And they gather this information to better understand the genes and better understand how to treat cancer, because every uh, person has a specific treatment, and apparently it needs to be adjusted in order to be effective. Thanks very much, uh, Shirley. Shirley Sitbon there.